everyone, today we have a Goodwill like home decor haul. So I'm gonna start off with this really pretty like glazed sugared fruit decoration. I'm gonna use this in the middle of my table probably or maybe even on a side table. This was only $4.25 at Goodwill. It has a tiny bit of the glazing stuff missing here. I'm not sure if I can repair that, but that pretty much appears to all be on the back side. There's probably some way to fix that. If you happen to know, please let me know in the comments. There's a little bit missing here, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. And there's just something I love about that kind of fruit, the look of that. I have something else like that already, but this one was really big and it has the gold lions. Definitely is a very good match for my gold room, my living room and my dining room, where I have gold is the theme. So let's set that down over here. It's a little top heavy, kind of wobbly. Um, I also found this for $2.25. It is a set of napkins. These were originally $26 from Macy's. Um, so that was definitely a really good deal. I don't think I had any gold like cloth napkins. So definitely in the market for those. And now I don't have to look any further. These have leaves on them. So they're more like fall, fall kind of a look. But it doesn't really matter. I'll probably use them all year round because once you have them all... You know put into the napkin rings and all that shouldn't matter and I found two pillows this one was only $1.99 and I loved it. it has the really long fringe I may use these um, on the couch here because I'm having I'm having like uh, a lot of different themes going on here though so I'm not sure if it goes well but um, and then I found this one was also $1.99 and it has like the velvet on the back so it's kind of you can it's kind of reversible and I thought that one was pretty it has more of a worn kind of a what is it like a coppery look to it than like this one it's more beige they both look gold until you put them together anyway and then last but not least I found well actually this is not last but anyway these pillow shams were only $1.99 each um, hopefully they'll go with the new red like bedspread set that I just bought from roses because it has red in it but I just love the like brocade fabric they just look so nice and expensive I thought um has a little bit of a damage here but nothing really that big big of a deal but I just thought those were so pretty and I bought three of them so I'm not sure what I'm going to use the third one for if I'm just going to put that on the bed as well or I could use the fabric for something else or cut it in half and make two throw pillows even so I'll have to decide what to do with that Okay, and then finally, last but not least, is this adorable little cookbook here. I am collecting cookbooks. I want to have like a really cute collection of things that we actually eat, like types of food that we actually eat. And Petite Sweets, it says, bite-sized desserts to satisfy every sweet tooth. And it just has such cute, um, such a cute cover. Definitely judges the book by the cover. But um, in this case, I did. But not really, though, because I um, definitely think I'll use these recipes and stuff like that. So lots of fun things to try out in there. I'm looking forward to growing my collection. Um, what is the next one I want? I ha We have Italian. Oh, yes, maybe a small Mexican one. My husband got one that was a slow cooker Mexican food. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe just like normal Mexican food. But I have two, one Italian, one pasta, one Chinese, one for burgers, and I have this one. And I do have the La Dore cookbook. I, I think I hauled that in a different video. But that was really awesome. And it was brand new in the package and everything. I haven't opened it yet. But that is a really pretty one to have in my collection as well. So that is everything. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item out of today's haul. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already done so because I post videos three days a week, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I try to do that every week, hopefully without missing any days. So definitely lots of interesting content to come. I'm planning lots more videos, so stay tuned.